Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo. And today we will be talking about edge lighting on your Samsung Galaxy devices. And everything I'm showing today is on Samsung One UI 3.1.1, which is basically built for the flip devices. And you're not gonna see a big massive difference between if it's the fold or the flip. Now for today's video, I'm just gonna show it all on the flip just because it's a little bit easier to fit into frame. Now, if you've played with edge lighting before and maybe you haven't updated your Samsung Galaxy devices in a few years, maybe there's a few different updates that you didn't really get with your device, you might be going through and taking a look at your settings. You might be going through display or some other locations where you can see your edge lighting built into there. But now it's all been changed and it's all sitting inside of notifications. Now you wanna make sure that inside of notifications, you don't have the option of detailed. If you have detailed turn on, edge lighting does not work. You wanna have the option for brief, just because it's something very quick, something very small on the top, and then the edge lighting is what really captures your attention. Then through there, you'd be able to choose which applications you want it to work with, either with all of them, or maybe just a few different applications. Then you go inside of your brief pop-ups settings. And if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials on the latest Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. Now inside of the brief pop-up settings, this is where you can go to the very top. This is your edge lighting style. Now, as you scroll through, you might see that, you know, it's almost pretty much the exact same ones that you would have from before. I do still need to go through and play with uh, uh, um, Goodlock 2020 or Goodlock 2021 to see if there was more options that was added in, but this is what you get with the stock version. So this is where you can choose which effect you would like to use and it's kind of going through what it'll look like around you know not only the edges but also around your notifications so if you want to have hearts come around the notification on the top if you want it to kind of have a little bit of fireworks this is one that i've used for quite a while and i believe recently i went over into bubble something that is still kind of cool but nothing that is you know overtaking the screen uh, then you're going to have some of these little echo ones where they can come off on the edges or you can have spotlight where it's gonna kind of have a little, a small effect from the very top. Now for this one particularly, we're just gonna go inside of bubble. Then you just hit on done if that is really all you wanna do. But if you wanna go through more of the settings, change the colors, things like that, you can turn on app color. And what's gonna happen is, Per the color of the application, by default, it'll kind of show a color that would resemble that application. So, you know, Instagram could, could kind of be like this magenta color. Facebook could be blue, but also messages could also be blue. Uh, your Snapchats are gonna be yellow, things like that. But if you want them all to be the exact same color, you can go through and you can change what you want them to look like. Red is a pretty cool color, also like blue. For a while I was using green. When you go inside this rainbow option, then you'd be able to go through and you can change if you want it to, you know, be something very particular going through an entire palette. So for this one, I'm going to stay with the color blue. Then you can go inside of advanced and through the advanced, I wouldn't really, you know, select transparency as high because now you're just taking away what you turn this on to do, which is illuminate and bring in some really cool colors. So make sure your transparency is low. Also too, same thing with if you want it to be narrow or wide. For me, I like a lot more color. I wanna get my attention grabbed easier and quicker. So I'm gonna go all the way wide. And then duration, this one's all up to you. If you want it to be a little shorter than normal, if you want it to kind of be in the middle range of how long you want the lights to go, and if you know that it's gonna, you know, you're gonna be further away from your phone longer or longer periods away, uh, you can have it as a long. So I'm gonna put mine just as medium. Then you can go through and then you can hit on done. Now there's some other things you can do, such as color by keyword. There's really not too much that I do with this one. So really, if you get some type of like content coming up, basically what you're able to do is you can brighten up the notifications with colors when the titles match names or words that matter to you. Uh, so like, and it has to be the exact word and also case sensitive. So if you use the word Jimmy, if something comes through with Jimmy and you want it to be a certain color to grab your attention, uh, then you'd be able to put like a capital J. So maybe you have a conversation with somebody and then their name is let's say Stephanie and you want to put like a capital S because that's how you have it saved in your phone then you want to make sure that you have it all written out the same way that it would show up on the phone with a little bit of content kind of showing 
and then uh you know same thing with like if you want to use like the word snapchat you could put in like the word snap uh, or maybe there's a particular word that somebody uses all the time and that's also very important that could pop up in the the content section of you know basically your little notifications panel then you'd be able to have that come through like maybe like for me it could be the word collab or collaboration and if it does notice it inside of notifications it's going to change it to a particular color and i'm like oh i just got a notification or an email that has the word collaboration in it so you can do something like that i don't really play with it that much that's a little bit beyond what i need it to do i'm very simple i just want a notification light letting me know that something has came through now one thing i do also want to show you is you know now that we've kind of have all this one you know all set up is that when it comes down to the galaxy z fold 3 some people may be wondering you know is it going to be different per each you know screen so sometimes when you set up different settings on the cover screen it could be different than when it's opened so let's just say for now we choose this one over here and let's go with the color of purple and let's see transparency low durations high okay so we're going to do this one right here so we have it as echo effect now let's say that i was to close this all the way out go into the cover screen so what we're going to notice is inside of the settings and then you go down into notifications when you go to pop-up settings you can still see echo effect is still sitting there and it's to the color that we selected it for so basically when it comes down to the fold three i just wanted to get this question answered now whatever you set up on the cover screen or when it's open it's all going to be the same thing which is pretty nice which is kind of a part of that 3.1.1 settings it's allowing it to where if you have a fold it'll be the same and saved if it was open or closed but i hope you guys have appreciated this video if you guys did please give this thing a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later